Hey, too, what's going on? It's Tony again here. As you can tell, whoa, if I don't freaking fall over tires, <laughs> um, the mud mower has no rear end in it because it is setting right here. Now, I really wanted to do this whenever I had the whenever I was doing the pulley swap, but I didn't get a chance to. So, uh, there's an old peerless rear end, the case halves are over there under my bench and then one's right there I'm gonna eventually put it back together but for now I robbed the needle bearings out of it wheel bearings and uh, I don't know if this is gonna work but since this um, I don't know if I called this thing a peerless um, it's a spicer but I'm gonna see as you can see there's sorry for just flipping y'all off there's little uh, bumps right there and that makes me think that these old wheel bearings will fit. And if I check my other cases, you see they don't have that. Which is what's making me think I could put bearings in this and save the transaxle. Because it's already pretty wobbly, but I'm trying to save it. So, uh, I'm going to see if this boy's the right size. Which, of course, it is not. Um, so, uh, worst case scenario. It's kind of hard to do on camera, but... Yeah, man. I'm going to whack myself. Goodness. Man. Goodness, they put these things on tight from factory. But, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pull the case bolts out, and uh, hopefully, by the end of this video, we will have bearings in this transaxle. Ah, no, don't round off. I know this is not the right tool. Ah, you're going to round off, you little bugger. Okay. Please no one hate on me for doing this, um, I know I took apart a perfectly good transaxle to do this modification, but, uh, it should be worth it in the end, because this is my favorite mud mower, um, old reliable, never failed me, and, uh, yeah, also I was driving it today, I think I probably have a clip of it. Not driving it, but what happened. So, uh, yeah, the engine came loose. It was only two, oh, sorry. It was only two bolted in, and, uh, well, she vibrates so much that, well, she kind of just vibrated herself loose. I thought she was knocking, but, nope. Come on, baby. <coughs> Pecker. Um, I'm gonna fight with these. For a little bit. Yeah, they ain't. They're sitting there rounding off. So, uh, I may have to drill some of these out. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah. I will be back, hopefully, with results. Okay, YouTube. So, uh, after a lot of finagling, having to drill three different bolts out, we got it. So, uh, I just picked pop the case as you can see that gap so we're gonna try to pull her off oh she's coming yeah oh it's trying to pull the other thing with it oop kinda too late now woo buddy that is nasty woo buddy Holy goodness. I will be right back.
Hi YouTube, what's going on? It's Tony again here. And uh, this is another update on the mud mower transaxle. Got her all cleaned up as you hopefully saw on all them pictures. And yeah, got some grease in her. So uh, I'm going to take and very care. Oh, actually I need to line the bushings so I'm gonna do that off camera but uh yeah case halves are cleaned and uh yeah she's going together and uh another thing is I had it on this hole and this hole whenever I was initially driving it right here and here but I'm gonna move it back to here and here so I don't have to add another tensioner pulley for my chain I mean not chain belt why do I keep saying chain and uh, also if you look up in here you see a crack right here it catches my fingernail this thing has enough power to freaking crack a wheel that is insane but uh yeah that's pretty much it for this transaxle DIY willy as you can see Right there is my old fill slash vent for the transaxle, and it's still holding it. Then, yeah, still holding in there. So, yep. I'm gonna initially fill it with motor oil, um, just to get it, you know, worked in and everything, and uh, get all this old grease, because I didn't bother taking these gears apart, because I, if I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know how to put them back together. But, uh, yeah, if you, uh, spin the input pulley, which is sitting on right now, see everything move. So, yeah, that's meshing right. I already checked, and it does shift. So, uh, yeah. Sorry, this is kind of a boring video. I didn't get to do more, but it's literally 1.48 in the morning. I am not really an outside person, especially at night. Well, I'm an outside person during the daytime, but especially not at night. I just get weird vibes, but yeah. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just looking over stuff that I didn't, that I did miss. Oh, and, uh, yeah, on a couple of these bolts... If I can find one, a couple of these old bolts literally freaking snapped on me. I can't find it, and then one I had to drill out, but uh, I eventually got them. So uh, yeah, she's gonna go together. I'm gonna make sure. All the bushing slots in here, like, see? See that right there, how that's angled? That has to be lined up with the bushing. See, uh, let me see, right there. That one has to be lined up. That one has to be lined up. Um, that one has to be lined up. That one has to be lined up. So I'm gonna do that off camera. I don't have enough skill to do that on camera. But, uh, yeah. All the holes cleaned up nice. And, uh, yeah. Smear some grease in there. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh, and also, when y'all are doing this, be extra careful. I already cut myself. And it was particularly on the side of this, um, bull gear. And, uh. Yeah, they're freaking sharp, I'll tell you that much. I just work all this stuff in and do that right here. Sorry, I ain't talking much, I'm just trying to concentrate. already did the other side, that's why I'm only doing this one side. And this is just some regular old 
Um, Napa grease. Nothing special for the first run. And then uh, whenever it's, you know, whenever all the old oil's out of it. Because what I'm going to do first is whenever this is in the mower, I'm going to drive around a little bit. And uh, I'm going to put motor oil in it. And I'm going to sit here and drive it around probably up and down the alley a couple times just to get everything worked in. And then I'm going to drain the old fluid out and put the new um, actual um I think I'm going to go with 70W90, I think it's called, gear oil, and uh, fill her up, probably pack it full of a little bit more grease, whatever I can get through that hole, but yeah, there was a little bit of shavings from whenever I made that hole in here, so I'm glad I did this, and somehow two of the detent balls for the shifter are missing, but uh... I'll find two more of them. The springs are still in there, but both the two de detent bowls are gone, and I can't find them, so. Yep. My nose is watering, so it's so cold, so, because it's so cold, and I can't even talk, but, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That axle shaft, a little bit mauled up from that, uh, rim, but. Yep. Let's smooth out some of this on here. Make sure she's nice and lubricated. So, uh, yeah. That may be this, it, for the end of this video. Um, I may just leave this transaxle open tonight, because one, I need to RTV it, um, tomorrow, and two, I need to add some sort of a drain in here. So, uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave it open, so. That's the end of this video. Sorry if it's a short video. Um... This kind of boring stuff on the mower. The side pipe is hopefully going to be the next episode. Goes under. Down right there, already did throttle. Already have been driving it as you can tell. Sorry I didn't get to film it. It was just super simple stuff like throwing a carb on it and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I ain't got really nothing else to do because it's too freaking late and I can't bang on stuff, so. Yep. I'm going to head in for the night and thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.